Make it, sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most furry creature, draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Stomitz. our very own noughts and crosses. You will need some paper, a ruler, a pen, scissors. Be careful with scissors. Ten pebbles, some colourful paint and some paint brushes. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Maybe next time. Oh dear. Right. Have you got all that? Get your pebbles and split them into two groups of five. Paint five one colour and the other five a different colour. I'm going to paint mine red and blue. Now take your painted pebbles and it's time to doodle! I'm painting bugs on the blue ones and monsters on the red ones. Ah. <laughs> Now, cut out a square from your paper, like this. And draw crisscrossing lines on it, like this. This is the board and we're ready to play. Here's how it goes. The game has two players, each player picks a colour. The aim of the game is to get a straight line of three of your pebbles in a row, like this. Sometimes the game can end in a draw too. It's a draw if this happens. And no one can get three in a row. Just play again. You can make your game with any colours you like. This game rocks! Welcome to my brilliant show! So I'm going to write a poem too. It's going to be really good. I just don't know what it's about yet. Maybe something delicious for lunch. Okay, let's make our very own pita pizza. You will need clean hands, a pita bread, some tomato puree, plenty of grated cheese, and some tasty herbs. And a glue stick? We're making food. We definitely don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Sorry. Okay, got all of that? Fantastic! Let's get making. Take your pitta and squeeze on the tomato puree. Then spread it around like this. Add plenty of grated cheese and then sprinkle on your tasty herbs. Pop it in the oven until the cheese has gone all melty. Remember, have an adult help you when cooking. And there you go. Now you know how to make your own pizza, you can put on whatever toppings you like. Delicious! Welcome to my brilliant show! Unless she's annoying me. That does make her quite happy. But I can be annoying too. I think it's time to... Make it! Let's make some woolly monsters! You will need... A cardboard tube, some scissors. Be careful with scissors. And some colourful wool. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Awkward. Got all that? Let's get making. Take your cardboard tube and cut it in half so you have two smaller tubes like this. Snip off a length of wool and tie the tubes together. Then wrap lots and lots of wool around the tubes until they look like this. Snip another bit of wool and tie a loose knot around the wool in the middle of the two tubes. Then slide out the tubes and tighten the knot to make a sort of bow, like this. Now snip each side of the bow, cutting all the loops in the wool. Cut off the excess wool and ruffle it out to get your pom-pom shape. 
Pop on some eyes and a mouth and you have your woolly monster. <laughs> you can make them in lots of different colours and any size you like. <laughs> 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 Welcome to my British show! Every good doodler needs a place to keep their pencils. And there's nothing better than a Tom Gates pencil holder. It's time to make it! Let's make our own pencil holder. You will need some coloured cardboard, a cardboard tube, a plate, a ruler, some scissors. Be careful with scissors! Sticky tape, PV glue, and a pencil and pen. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Got all that? Let's get making. Take your cardboard, grab your plate, and draw around it to make a circle. Then, cut out the circle. Use your cardboard tube to draw a smaller circle in the middle of the big one. Then, with the ruler, draw two lines at the bottom and the top of the small circle like this. Then, fold up the bottom and the top like this to create the sides of the pencil holder. Then, flatten the shape back out and flip it over. Now it's time to decorate the sides with your pen. Draw whatever you like or add your name. base of the pencil holder. Take your cardboard tube and cut it into three smaller tubes of different sizes, like this. Now you can colour them in with paint. Add a blob of glue to the front and back of each tube and sit them inside the circle. Fold the sides up to meet the glue and hold it all together with sticky tape. Leave the tape on until the glue dries and everything is stuck together. When the glue is dry, carefully remove the tape. And you have your pencil holder. You can fill it with all your pens and pencils. And a glue stick. And even your glue sticks. Awesome. Week. Now it's time to make a mini book. You will need an A4 sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, be careful with scissors, a pen, and some pencils to decorate. And a glue stick? Ah, uh, no. Sorry. Not today. Bye. Maybe next time. Now, make sure you have everything you need. Fantastic! Take your paper, fold it in half, then half again, and then half again. Now, unfold the paper so it's only been folded once. Important bit, make sure the paper is folded just like this. Take your scissors... Be careful with scissors! ..and cut down this line. Now, if you unfold your paper, it should have a hole in the middle, like this. OK, this part is a little tricky. Stand your paper up and carefully push together, creating four separate pages. Fold these pages round and you should have your book. I decided to draw some monsters in my book. You can draw anything you like. You can also draw on the paper before folding it into a book and make your very own colouring book. Have fun with the mini book by making any pattern or design you like. <laughs>